Hey, what's up? It's Kidichigo. Here to continue Pikmin 3 Deluxe. Left off with the last episode around a month ago, but... Yeah, we only have a month at this point until Pikmin 4 drops, so definitely trying to finish it up before that happens. And yeah, we know a little bit more about Pikmin 4 than we did previously at this point. We know that the cave system is coming back from Pikmin 2, which is... Personally, the thing that I really wanted most to come back from any previous game. For some reason, it definitely felt like this game was lacking something, and... I almost feel like it's just because that, you know, the whole cave system wasn't brought back in this one. It almost seems like they want to, because there's a lot of, you know, cave-ish areas, but... You know, they're not like underground, or whatever, you know, kind of like the last system was, and... Auto-generated or whatever, like it was in Pikmin 2, so... Yeah, definitely, uh, kind of weird that they had that whole system set up, and... It being one of the more interesting parts of that game, and then they just, you know, didn't bring it back for this one. But yeah, nonetheless, we were getting it back and forth, so... Pretty stoked to, uh... Yeah, hear about that news. Other good news is Pikmin 1 and 2 got ports to the Switch, finally. So yeah, that will be content for the future at some point. Those are two of, if not, my two favorite games of all time, so... We'll definitely have to check out those on the channel. Because, yeah, somehow, I've never really touched on them. I mean, there's not really, you know, unless you're emulating, which... Honestly, uh, you know, main title Nintendo games are a little hard to get a hold of as far as, you know, emulators or, you know, at least the, the circles of emulation or whatever that, you know, I'm familiar with. You know, a lot of old school games from, you know, GameCube and N64 era and all that stuff are pretty easy to emulate or whatnot, it seems like, but yeah, getting a hold of, you know, the actual, like, Nintendo main title Nintendo, you know, kind of mainstay titles or... Kind of, uh, hard to come by, it seems like. You kind of just have to know people or, you know, know what you're doing, which... You know, I'm pretty limited in my, uh, my resources as far as emulation and stuff is concerned. So yeah, never really had too great of an opportunity to, like, stream or record content for the first two Pikmin games. Yeah, this will finally be a way for me to actually touch on them on the channel here. So yeah, at this point, I think we're still following after Louie. He stole all of our juice and... One of the previous episodes, I think. And I think this level is pretty water heavy and intensive, so I'm going to try to build up my army of blue boys. Just uh, feed on all these little bull borbs here. Try to take them all out by surprise. Seems to be the best method always. Doesn't seem to be too many, just like, you know, uh, normal enemies that are walking and patrolling the, you know, different levels or whatever that you can't just, like, swarm with a huge group and take out pretty easily without a really losing any. Which is kind of nice. I feel like that was kind of harder, you know, to actually pull off in the first two games. Like you, uh, yeah, took much more of a risk of actually losing all your Pikmin in those games. But maybe it's just my memory, I don't know. That's why it'll be fun to go back and actually touch up on those games and see how they hold up, especially these new ports. Although I've already looked at some reviews and it didn't look like that, you know, they had uh, too much, you know, really bad like, to be said about them or whatever. People seem like they were pretty true ports and kind of touched up the graphics a little bit and, you know, it's kind of as good as you can get from a old-school GameCube port to, you know, present-day console being the Switch, but... Yeah, I think it runs decently well from what I'm hearing. Which, you know, pretty encouraging if I do end up wanting to make content on it or whatever. Man, look at that onion. She really blending all the colors together now. Looking beautiful. So let's see, we're already uh, doing pretty well as far as growing our, our blue boy numbers here. I think we're going to have a couple little things that we're going to have to like build as far as like structures to get to where Louie actually is. If I'm not mistaken, I wasn't exactly sure what I was going to do at the start of this one and the end of the last episode, so I did kind of look ahead and, you know, see a little bit of what's going on here, just so I wasn't completely in the dark. And yeah, there is a little thing that we have to like, build or construct, and then I think we can get to where Louie is. I do forget if he has, like, a boss fight, though. I didn't look that far ahead. I'm gonna assume he does, because usually, you know, going after Louie always seems to, uh, cause trouble for, you know, whoever's involved. A la Captain Olimar and Pikmin 2, I guess. <laughs> yeah, he's always, uh, seeming to be the one that's around the, uh, the cause of the trouble for some reason. I don't know why Louie just went fucking AWOL and, like, took all our shit and, like, bounced. It's like, we weren't trying to hurt him. Did he think we, like, captured him? Is that what was going on there? Like, he woke up while he was in captivity and then just, like, took all our shit and bounced. Like, imagine if somebody 
like you thought like kidnapped you or whatever and you just woke up and you weren't restrained or anything like it's not like they put handcuffs on you dude like you're free to go you know you should obviously see that you're not like you know being held captive or against your will or some shit so like for him to just like go AWOL like that is like man what are you fucking doing you're hurting the people that are uh, trying to help you here man gotta put my blue boys to work looks like they have a couple little walls that they gotta knock down here Maybe I should, like, have one of them control the blue boys and one of them control the pink boys. It's probably the, uh, best method of action. Yeah, let's see. I guess Alfie can stay with the, uh, the flying men. And, yeah, we'll get, uh, we'll get Charlie to go down here with the water boys. But let's see, what can Brittany do? Anything, like, of use or of, of note right now? I guess go back and fetch these other little blue boys and then add them on to our, our little gang. So I'm gonna assume there's like a bunch of little water enemies that only these guys can really fight, so... Gotta have a decent amount of them, I guess, before we go try to take on a bunch of little enemies. Like I was saying, it doesn't seem like there's too many enemies in this game where... You know, if you have a good enough, like, a stock of Pikmin at your side or whatever, you can kind of just bum rush them and take out pretty much, you know, most of the enemies in the in this game that are just, yeah, like, freestanding like this, that are just out and about. Basically any enemies that, uh, aren't a boss. Seem pretty easy to just bum rush and, you know, kill off without really losing any of your Pikmin. Who's this guy? Was this Mr. Octo? Dude, what the fuck? He just became Bulbous. <laughs> oh shit, he fucking launches EE. -E. What is that? He launches them into bubbles? Are they gonna die? I can't get them back. Oh, do I have to, uh... Oh, I lock on. I'm supposed to throw the Pikmin at them. My bad. I was like, I don't know how I'm supposed to save them. They're kind of just stuck in the bubble for the rest of eternity, I guess. Let's see what's on the other side there. Can I move the camera? The camera underwater is kind of weird. Oh, is that... That might be part of the bridge. Or... Oh, wait, no, there's... I think there's something we have to build up before the bridge. What was this little thing? Yeah. I'm going to assume whatever this little thing is is... You know, gonna be constructed first. Because it looked like the bridge has to be assembled from the other side, so... We have to get over there in the first place, I guess. I love the little clown horn noise when... You try to launch, and there's like no one in your party. <laughs> and you try to like, do the little bum rushing thing. So that's most of this thing. Let's see, where are the rest of... The little pieces? Uh, did, oh, whoa! I was like, what is that anthill? <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, is that thing gonna... Whoa, fuck. Oh, it's one of those things. I kind of remember those from, uh, I think Pikmin 2 had a similar enemy. I was gonna say, can we really just, like, sneak right past this guy? Oh, uh, please tell me they're gonna go out this way. They're not gonna try to go back the, the opposite way and, like, go past this dude. Tell me they're smarter than that. Okay, thank god. Wait, are there- there might be enemies over here, though. Let me make sure there's nothing in their path. So they don't start getting nabbed while they're trying to, uh... Yeah, look at these dudes. What are all these little fishies? Let's try to take these guys out so we don't have to worry about them when they're carrying the, uh, the pieces of that little structure, whatever that thing is. Oh, we need the fairy type for right here. Okay, see, this was actually a good call to have Alfie hold on to these guys for us. So let's see, how many do we need? We should have plenty for, yeah, what we need right here. Just to hold this little bridge, or little gate up. And then, yeah, just like that. Okay, perfect. I guess we'll just have them hold that until we're done building or whatever. Alfie can just chill over here with them. And then, yeah, I think we can go back up now that we got rid of these little these little fish boys. Oh, that's a thing that uh, the fairy Pikmin can lift up. Probably a fruit or something in there, right? Yeah, it says on the map. Kind of surprising that they really just, like, give away all the locations of all the fruit once you have that one tracker thing. Kind of almost makes the discovery aspect a little less, uh, I don't know, interesting or whatnot. It almost seems like if you didn't have that fruit tracker and you just, like, you know, kind of stumble upon all the fruit, like, uh, naturally or whatever, just by exploring. And then maybe, like, later in the game? I don't know, I feel like they just gave you that, like, super early on in this game. And it kind of just left, you know, the whole, like, uh, I don't know, discovery kind of aspect of, like, you know, how it could feel as far as, like, just kind of, like, you know, roaming around, exploring around, and then just, you know, stumbling upon different fruits. I guess the very beginning of the game is kind of like that, but yeah, they do give you that tracker, like, very early, it seems. Alright, these guys should be just about done building this thing up, right? I think that might be 
the whole thing. I don't know if there's more pieces, but it looks like that's gonna be it. What is this thing supposed to be? Like some kind of like old ceramic, like a like bowl or pot or something? <laughs> I don't really know what this is supposed to be, but I guess it is gonna propel us to yeah, continuing on here, carrying after Louis, the damn bastard. So I guess we have probably enough in our squad. Wait, let me see. I think I have more just chilling back here, right? Are they just waiting for me? Wait, where are the other 10? Oh, they're they're flying. They're holding up the gate. Okay, hold, hold up. I think I do need to go get them back, right? You go, uh, go grab them, boys. Yeah, so this bridge, we got to build from that side. So I'm assuming that little thing that we just built up is going to be how we get over there, right? And then we... I don't know if we have to uh, have certain types. Oh wait, there's some of that. Oh, there's a uh, part of the bridge is in that little ice thing, and we're gonna need we're gonna need rock boys for that. So I'm not really sure if we're actually gonna be able to uh, to get any uh, any of that done in this day. We might have to wait till tomorrow to do that here. But man, I didn't even get a fruit. I was kind of hoping to at least have gotten a fruit, you know, just to uh, break even for the day or whatever. Here, maybe I can get this one, because I do believe this is one, right? I think I saw on my, yeah, my little map that this is, this is a little plum or something. So maybe this will just help us break even, just because we don't have a, you know, our supply until we get, uh, get Louie back or whatever. Man, we just barely made it back with this plum. Okay. I think that's a plum. <laughs> I'm always, like, second-guessing myself on, like, what types of, uh, fruit we're actually collecting in this game. Always kind of, uh... Yeah, forget what things actually look like. <laughs> Shows how much fruit, or how little fruit I actually eat, unfortunately. I mean, you know, I'm big on blueberries, I'm big on uh, pineapple, I'm big on watermelon, but I don't know, I kind of just like my core few fruits, and then outside of that, I don't really, you know, venture too far <laughs> into trying new things. Which honestly, I, I should. I've, you know, enjoyed trying new fruits a lot in, in the past. I've gone to Hawaii uh, a few years ago, and I remember I tried, like, star fruit, I think it was, and... That shit was awesome. I really like that. So honestly, I try to, or should try to yeah, actually, you know, branch out and try out and experience new fruits. Maybe I'll actually like them at this point. You know, certain ones that I uh, wouldn't have liked as a kid. I mean, they say that your taste buds grow with you when you uh, get older, so. I don't know, maybe I'll, you know, try out some fruits that I didn't like as a kid and I'll uh, try to uh, educate myself on, you know, what a plum actually looks like here. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what that is, right? This one is really tasty. See, she loves it. Brittany's all over it. Lesser Mock Bottom. That is a interesting name, but... Yeah, it looks like that is a full... little thing of juice there, so... That did break us even for the day, thankfully. Yeah, that Hokitacian. Don't worry. We're gonna go get Louie today. That is our goal. In this next day that is upcoming here. Today is day 16 of our mission. We've gathered 23 pieces of fruit. This planet boasts a stunning variety of fruits, each one more delicious than the last. Some types are tart enough to pucker your face inside out, while others are sweet enough to pop your eyeballs right out of your head. <laughs> that sounds a little bit more violent uh, than it actually is. <laughs> Why would you describe it like that? The people back home are gonna like hear you being on a, like an alien planet and then hear how you just described that and be like, oh my god, that sounds fucking horrifying. Like, what the fuck is wrong with the food on that planet? <laughs> It's fucking like morphing your eyes to pop out of your head and shit. Like, that sounds crazy. I'll pass on those. Uh, these are, or those are highly unscientific, uh, scientific descriptions of tastiness. Yeah. I mean, you know, I guess she is the, like, botanist or whatever, right? So she's trying to be all technical about the, uh, about the plant terms and such. You know, respect. Okay, Louie, we're coming for you. That is the goal of this day is to, uh, find that bastard, so... Yeah, we will cross over that little structure that we just built in the last day. I guess we'll have to bring some rock boys over. Gather up probably some fairy type, some water type, and I guess some rock type. That's probably all we should need. I say that, but then we're going to get across and watch. It'll be all electricity and fire. We're just going to be stuck without any of them. But regardless, I think this is a good place to, uh, to start as far as heading over in that direction and seeing what's over there. Maybe I want a few more rock boys. We have a lot of them, and they're really strong, actually, so... That's probably the way to do it. So I think I saw a couple little enemies over in there. Yeah, I don't really know what they're capable of, so... We will try to... Yeah, go over there and see what's... See what's going on with... 
the other side of the bridge. I really wish there was a easier way or faster way, I should say, to do this. Because, yeah, you'd literally just have to throw everyone one by one. I mean, I guess the fairy type you can probably get over all at once, because you can just have them fly over. Just, like, mass rush them over and... I don't know, as long as they don't rejoin your party, I think they should just stay over there, but... All the other types, man, you gotta throw them one by one like this. <laughs> Not the most, uh... Yeah, like, time-efficient kind of way of doing that, but... Seems like the only way to really do this. To get them all across safely and not have them all fall in the water and drown and shit. And yeah, if we, be, uh, yeah, we need the rock boys to get over to the other side so they can break that over and help us start the bridge there. I do see that little crab boy, so I'm kind of worried about him. I don't think he'll be too big of a deal, but... I don't know, he may have some, like, hidden ability or something that I'm not aware of. Oh wait, no. Come here, Charlie. I need to throw you over there too, boy. There we go. Okay, so now let's see what this guy is up to here. Is he a little crab, but he's like an onion? He looks like an onion. Ooh, shit. Okay, cool, cool. I was really worried that he was gonna be... Yeah, a bigger pain in the ass than he actually was there. Okay, there we go. There's the start of the bridge. Just have to go find where the rest of it is, because... I'm gonna assume... Yeah, that wasn't even close to the whole thing. Actually, that might have been half of it. Hold on. Let's go see if we can find the rest of it here. And get the avocado. Thanks. <laughs> get the avocado back to the, uh... The ship here. Oh, there's some more. And then what's in this little... Oh, are these the... The little bomb things? What's in here? Let's see what's deep down inside the little hole. Oh, there were pieces of the bridge down inside the little, like, anthill thing. Okay, I didn't actually know that that was a, uh, possibility. I kind of thought all the pieces of the bridge would just be, like, out and about. But, uh, alright, interesting. I kind of like that they mix it up like that. Although, why were the other pieces literally right next to it? Just kind of to throw you off, or what? <laughs> kind of funny. It almost seems like they should have just had them all in there to begin with, right? I think that is... all of it, though, so... Hopefully this is the whole bridge. I don't know if there's more up this path or whatever, but... I'm gonna assume that was, a uh, the last of it here. So now we'll be able to go back and forth freely if we need to. I almost feel like I should, uh, yeah, utilize getting all this stuff back, like this fruit and... I don't know if this onion is gonna count as a, uh, as, like, one of the fruits or whatever. I mean, you wouldn't think the avocado would either, just because... I know technically avocados are fruits, whatever, but they don't have juice. And I thought the whole point was to, like, collect juice. So I'm a little bit, uh, confused what the avocado is gonna create. I don't exactly, uh, know how you would make avocado juice, per se. Not really a thing I've ever heard of. Okay, let's get a nice even squad before we head over to, uh, yeah, whatever awaits us and the other side of that little, like, pathway or whatever that we saw back there. That I think leads us right to Louie. So yeah, I don't want to be caught without any of my types. I don't really know what's in store at this point. I did look ahead to, yeah, see kind of how to get over there or whatnot before this, but I did not really look back into how the boss works or what's going on there. Or if there even is a boss, I'm just going to assume that the way they're setting this up to get our juice back from Louie, most likely, by, uh, you know, I think I have a good understanding of how Pikmin games work, especially this one at this point. This should probably be some kind of a little endeavor here, right? As far as, uh, yeah, we're gonna have to fight something nasty, I'm gonna assume. Oh, maybe I should have brought more rock boys. Is that gonna be a thing? Oh man, let's see. I really hope that's not gonna be a, uh, a hindrance on my ability to fight whatever this thing is. Whoa, okay, I think I kind of remember this. Like, I'm vaguely remembering how this boss starts, but... Ooh. Nintendo loves to make, uh, weird, creepy bosses with, like, eyeballs. <laughs> as, like, the focal point for the face, so... Oh, shit. Yeah, okay, I do not remember this. <laughs> it's kind of crazy how much of this game you actually remember and how much of it, uh... Yeah, slips my memory or whatever. But yeah, okay, we're gonna have to figure out how to actually take this guy out. I'm gonna assume he does some kind of attack and then... He'll get lower to the ground, then we'll be able to, uh, actually go after him. Because I don't think there's anything we can really do at this point. I don't think I can... I can throw at his feet? Is that a thing? I don't really think I want to do that, right? Seems like the only thing I can lock onto are its legs, so I'm like... Maybe I, like, go up higher and then it gets, like, knocked down or something? The feet might be a weak spot. Okay, yeah, she's even telling me so at this point. 
But are they- they're just gonna die when it steps on them, though. That's what I'm like, this is not very, uh... Oh god, yeah. That was like a decent amount, I just lost, like, several little Pikmin there. Man, okay. And I did not bring enough Rock Boys to really do anything. That's unfortunate. Oh, okay, well, yeah, I guess we broke that open. Now is that just gonna stay open, or... Am I gonna have to worry about it, like, reforming or some bullshit? Thank god it just, like, starts you with your whole squad. Like, not next to him in his stomping path. They probably realized that would have been fucked up if they actually did that to you. Oh, oh, you got dizzy. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, shit, so I have to be quick about that? Okay. Let me see here. Homeboy is, uh, definitely a feisty one. I don't remember this boss at all, honestly. It's kind of crazy. I remember this area, like, being a boss fight, but... Yeah, I do not remember this boss looking like this, honestly. Which is weird, because, like, how would you forget, like, a giant weird lump of fucking earthly mass or whatever this thing is, like, coming to life and having three legs. It's pretty specific, man. Oh, it's gonna do its weird little... little charge attack. So do I have to keep just attacking its legs? Is that what's going on here? Or... Ah, uh, yeah, I guess. Oh, well, no. Because he falls down without... Yeah, he falls down without you even attacking the leg at this point. But he doesn't stay down long enough, so... I wonder if you still do actually have to do that, and... Yeah, just, uh... The part where he falls over after he attacks is just part of his little animation. Not really sure here. Alright, got a little opening. Come on, man. Come on, man. Spam it, spam it, spam it. Wait, it's not doing anything. Why is it, like, not doing anything? Oh, wait, what the fuck is that? Wait, what? What is that thing? It's like a mouth? It's got, like, a little mouth. Oh, it just ate, like, a ton of my rock Pikmin, which is awesome. Yeah, man, this dude is a... an asshole. <laughs> this is, like, easily the hardest boss fight in this whole game so far. Like, not even close, man. So, wait, can we stay on top of him? Oh, no, I was gonna say, there's no way it's gonna, like, actually let us... just, like, stay up there, right? God, so many of my Pikmin are getting fucked up by this. Actually, not as many as I thought, but yeah, still, like, not really numbers that I was trying to, uh, yeah, have lost. If I'm being honest. Just kind of trying to see if I can get through this without, uh, yeah, as much damage to my, my population, but it's kind of seeming like I'm not even gonna actually, like, get this guy done in this amount of time. Oh my god, it's so close. No, please. Oh man. Jeez, man, we are so close to like actually beating it, but... Oh, so many of my Pikmin are drowning. Come on, we're so close. Okay, thank god. Oh man, I really thought the day was gonna end before we actually pulled that off. I was like, please just let me kill it before the actual day ends. I was focusing so hard to pull that off. Oh, wow, we got a, a big old melon out of that. And look who it is. Look what the fucking cat drug in. <laughs> wow, what a delectable looking piece of fruit. Ah, that boss fight was actually like very nerve wracking, man. <laughs> I feel like that was way harder on, uh, yeah, the hard difficulty than it was on the easier setting that I probably played last time. And there's Captain Olimar, still unaware. The food thief, he better still have our juice. I mean, I think you got enough from that giant cantaloupe right there. Is that his spaceship? Oh yeah, look! Oh, that's the, uh... Man, I'm blanking on what it's called, but yeah, it's the ship from... From Pikmin 2. The one that, uh, analyzes all the... All the treasures and all the stuff from... From that game. Yeah, I can't remember what it's called. Don't tell me he was planning to escape in that bucket of bolts. Yeah, he must have crashed here too. I mean, that's, uh, yeah, what they said happened, right? Like... Olimar and Louie came back here to try to get more... Treasure or whatever, and then... Of course, inevitably crashed. As always. We need some answers. Not to mention our juice. Let's get him back to the Drake ASAP. Okay, I was gonna say, like, I don't think, uh... Yeah, it just, like, takes him back, right? <laughs> Man, I lost a lot of Pikmin in that, uh... In that boss fight. I was honestly expecting to lose more. I kind of thought, and, yeah, certain, uh... Certain points that I was kind of just, like, shit out of luck, but... Alright, I guess we were gonna have to start the beginning of the next day by coming back and collecting this fruit and, yeah, grabbing Louie and getting him back to the ship. 
Because, yeah, I didn't get any more fruit, but thankfully I had collected one in a previous day. I think that very first day that, uh, that we played and Louie, like, stole all our shit, so... Yeah, luckily I was, uh, you know, <clears throat> in a good enough position at this point to not have to get any fruit that day. But at this point, yeah, immediately this next day we have to go pick Louie up and, yeah, get all the, uh, those fruits that were just dropped. Looked like, I couldn't tell what the one was, it was like some crazy looking one, and then, yeah, the melon or whatever, we'll have to immediately go and pick those up. But yeah, I think that was a pretty solid day overall, even though we lost a little bit of Pikmin, but yeah, finished off that crazy boss. Easily the uh, the most intense and anal boss of the whole the whole game so far, by far. Kind of making me uh, wonder what the final boss is like, because yeah, like I said, I totally forget what yeah all these bosses are even like. Okay, so wait, how do you get juice out of an avocado? <laughs> uh, Alright, I guess just like that. What the fuck? That's not how that works, you guys. Uh, and it makes two. Interesting. Oh wait, yeah, I guess we did get a fruit back. We got the avocado, so... Yeah, we actually did break even for the day. So yeah, never mind. We are all good. And even set up for... Yeah, if something catastrophic happened in the, uh, the next day. <laughs> Yeah, we should be all set though, so... Yeah, pretty good little wrap to... Yeah, the end of this day and... Yeah, the end of the episode. I think that will uh, do it. We will wrap it up right there. Just want to take a second to say thank you so much for watching. It really means a lot when anyone takes the time to check out any of the content on the channel or any of the videos. So yeah, thank you. It does mean a lot to me. If you like this video, give me a like on it. Give me a subscribe on the channel. Come on back next time. Continuing this uh, playthrough till I finish it and then... I'm gonna start up Pikmin 4 when that drops. But other than that, I do all kinds of one-offs on small indie developer content on Itch.io games and stuff like that. And yeah, planning on yeah doing all kinds of other playthroughs after we finish up with the uh, the Pikmin stuff here in the next month or two. So yeah, definitely exciting and yeah, a lot going on on the channel. So yeah, if you like this, give me a subscribe and a like on the video. Come on back next time. I'd really appreciate it. But yeah, that will do it for this episode of Pikmin. So thank you so much for watching. Peace out. Kadichi go.